Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about distance, rate, time, word problems. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here. A fishing boat left Hawaii traveling west 0.5 hours before a cruise ship. The cruise ship traveled in the opposite direction, going 12.5 kilometers per hour faster than the fishing boat for 11 hours, after which the time the ships were 322 kilometers apart. A lot packed in that sentence. What was the fishing boat's speed? Okay. Well, we'll start with distance equals rate times time for each one. Distance of the fishing boat is equal to the rate of the fishing boat times the time of the fishing boat. And the same thing then with the cruise ship. Distance of the cruise ship is equal to the rate of the cruise ship times the time of the cruise ship. So let's plug in what we, well, know. So the fishing boat, right, so uh, let's go down. The cruise ship left later, all right, 0.5 hours later, and traveled a total of 11 hours. So the time of the cruise ship is 11 hours. The fishing boat was left 0.5 hours earlier, so it's 0.5 plus that 11 hours. And that's the time the fishing boat was out there. Well, we want to find the fishing boat's speed, its rate. So we don't know that here. And bring down the distance. We don't know that either. But the rate of the cruise ship, they give us a clue. They tell us here that the cruise ship has traveled in the opposite direction but was going 12.5 kilometers per hour faster than the fishing boat. So the rate of the cruise ship can be written as 12.5 plus the rate of the fishing boat. And that's equal to D sub C. We're almost there. They give us one other clue. They say at the end of all of this, the fishing boats were 322 miles or kilometers apart, and they're going opposite directions. So if we add their distance traveled, distance of the fishing boat plus the distance of the cruise ship, that's going to equal 322. And so if we subtract the d sub f to both sides, we get the distance of the cruise ship is equal to 322 minus distance of the fishing boat. So now what we're going to do, <laughs> all right, let's go simplify what we can a little bit here. All right, I can simplify some of this stuff out. So d sub f is equal to, well, r sub f times 0.5 plus 11 is 11.5. Not too much going on there. Distance of the cruise ship, if we distribute the 11 across here, 11 times 12.5 is 137.5 plus 11 r sub f, the rate of the fishing boat. Okay. Okay. Well, we found d sub c is equal to 322 uh, minus d sub f. So I can replace that here. So instead of d sub c, I'm going to write 322 minus d sub f is equal to 137.5 plus 11 times r sub f. So now we have an equation with only one um, almost one variable, all right, we have two variables, d sub f and d, uh, r of f. But d sub f we can write here, right? This whole thing we can put in for that d sub f now. So let's do that as well. We have 322 minus d sub f, which is r sub f times 11.5, let's put it in parentheses, double parentheses, is equal to 137.5 plus 11 r sub f. And actually now, we only have an equation with one variable, r sub f, which is actually the variable we want to find. So now we actually, after all of that, we can solve this. Okay. Let's go clean this. I'm going to rewrite this a little bit. 322 minus, I'm going to put 11.5 first, so it's clear, r sub f is equal to 137.5 plus 11 r sub f. Let's bring our like terms together. I'm going to add 11.5 r sub f to both sides here. And then I'm subtract a 137.5, put it to the other side. 
32, or 322 minus 137.5 is a 184.5. These cancel, and these will cancel. And that's equal to 11 r sub f plus 11.5 r sub f is a 22.5 r sub f. We divide 22.5 to both sides. And what do we have? Well, r sub f by itself here is equal to 184.5 divided by 22.5 is an 8.2, and our units is kilometers per hour. And so the fishing boat speed was 8.2 kilometers per hour. I hope this video was helpful, and if it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math. MinuteMathTutor.com